irgendwie keinen Raum mehr haben, ja. C5, F3, das ist irgendwie eine ganz große Klasse, ja, was die Jungs da abliefern. A3, C5, F3, ja, das ist so ein Schlagabtausch, wunderbar. F3. F3 ist ein bisschen in your face, ja, das ist so viel Schachverständnis, ich kann nachts nicht schlafen, ja, so. Ja. <lacht> Yeah. Oh, wait a second. Knight h3 and knight g5. If it turns to a god. Wait, knight h3 seems logical, guys. I almost slipped it off! I almost slipped it off! I freaking mouse knew I was about to play knight h3. This freaking mouse move is king. I don't want to do any more of these puzzles. I'm angry right now. Wieso spielst du mit meinen Gefühlen so sehr? Wir haben es doch jetzt schon alle mitbekommen. <lacht> oh Mann. Ja, wenn man, wenn, ihr, wenn, ihr, wenn ihr mit dieser Stelle im Video ausschneidet und daraus einen Clip macht, wieso spielst du mit meinen Gefühlen? Ja. <lacht> Könnte man dich leicht missverstehen, ja? Ja. Life gives you onions. Make onion aid. I mean, focus more on the chess, less on pithy aphorisms. Excuse me! Excuse me! Jesus! Jeez! Jesus! Man, come on! Why are you gonna be so bitter? Jeez! Just let me make on your aid! Fucking hell! Uh, either way, I'm losing here. I'm gonna lose one of my pawns. The pawns are rolling. He's got seven minutes on the clock, I got one. Man's allergic to onions. That is literally the only reason I can think of that he would be this angry about onion aid. That's literally the only reason that he would be this angry about onion aid. What's up now, huh? You scared? Hmm? You scared, little. <laughs> That's oh, all right. Shit. Oh, shit. That's all right with me, man. What's up now, bitch? You scared? <laughs> I don't think I can eat the whole thing. The rest is for you guys. But it's really good. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. This is actually very nice. Cake, please? Yes. I'm not even a cake person. This is for you guys. Mm. <laughs> there we go. Now, more, a bit more. Come on, camera, you've got this. You've got this, camera. That's for my community. There we go. Takes a bite. Yes, sharing is caring. This is really nice. Surprisingly. I was so sure I would mess it up. And sure I did. Because it doesn't look like the rest. Mm -hmm. Aber das Schlimmste ist wirklich, wenn Vichy auf dich traurig guckt. Auf oh, dich traurig auch Ja, traurig. Ich meine, das, ist doch, das, 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 das Spiel ist doch nicht so schwierig, ja? Ich hätte du den spielen können. Oder den. Einmal, einmal habe ich gegen ihn eine so beispielhafte Partie verloren in Weikernsee. Mhm. Er war einfach sauber vom Anfang bis zu Ende. Und ja. ich wenige sauber. Mhm. Und irgendwann mal in Analyse fragte mich, Junge, warum hast du das und das nicht gespielt? Und ich war wichtig, ich habe das nicht gesehen. <lacht> ich habe das gespielt, habe das nicht gesehen. Tut mir leid. Ja. Maybe it's just a draw? Surely there has to be something here. We'll see. We'll see. At any rate, I feel I feel pretty good, and um, you know, you just you, you take it one day at a time, and then hopefully good things happen. Do you play with Daquan TSM? I saw him streaming the other day. I was like, oh, TSM Daquan's back. Oh, uh, he kind of joined another org. Oh, <laughs> oh it's he kind TS of joined another org. But anyway, um, okay, yeah. okay. A anyway, wow. yeah. Uh, no. It's looking fantastic. No, I like the cat. No recycle bin. The cat is very cute. Look, I am the cat now. Look. 
It's a very cute cat. Played voice. Nine seconds. You just wait for the last 15 seconds and then you win your game. <laughs> that is how real 3-0 is played. Imagine if I actually play 3-0 like a normal human being. <laughs> and instead of waiting until the last three minutes, I mean, sorry, the last like 15 seconds to win your game. <laughs> Could not be me. <laughs> I just, yeah. 3-0 is pretty insane, yeah. <laughs> That was Danya style. Just talk too much. Forget about the fact that I'm playing a 3 0 and then. Yep. Imagine being a normal human being. That too. Yeah. This is very educational. Black's bishop would have fallen. So instead of this, Black had just moved his king. But now, Magnus, he's consolidating his advantage. He's a pawn up and he's gaining time against the Black Queen. Look at the evaluation bar as well. It's gone crazy. <laughs> Almost wow. plus 10 for Magnus. That means it's simply winning. And Maxim Vashti de Grave, rather than try and battle on in vain, he resigns. Wow, what a start to day three for Magnus Carlsen after only 26 moves playing for 30 minutes. He is the winner of the first game against Maxim Vashti de Grave. He looks happy, I have to say. Yeah, there's something about the white pieces for Magnus. He's yes. on a roll with white, uh, winning nearly every game with white yesterday. Uh, he won all of them. Now again, it's just, uh, yeah. it seems his opponents can't deal with the strength of his openings. And it, he made it look effortlessly. You know, this is the kind of perfect chess game. You get the advantage, you're in the driving seat, and then you just completely overwhelm your opponent's defences. It's and, like Bobby uh, Fischer, the former world champion, yeah. just makes it look easy, despite the fact he's playing some of the best players in the world. Wow, really nice game from the world champion. He's Congratulations. Time for a quick comment. 30 minutes now. Considering how much I've suffered with, with Black in the last couple of days, I was happy to get to, to a tie break. It means that I, I'm going to score at some, at least some points today uh, and uh, thereby keep a sensible lead. So now I'll, I'll just try to yeah, do my best for, for a few, few more minutes. Uh, well, if you want to relax a little bit, we have some nice tea and coffee for you here. Um, well, um, I don't really drink either tea or coffee, but I'm sure I'll find another way to relax. <laughs> okay, well, good luck in the coming games. Thank you. <laughs> he certainly seems to be in a good mood, Magnus Carlsen, where before the Blitz games will start 15 minutes after the last rapid game in uh, this round four. We're jumping into game four between Artemiev and Wesley So. Wesley is up by one point. He only needs a draw in this game. I've, the bar has been over to his side the entire time. It's over to your Artemiev side. Yeah, I'm not really trusting the evaluation bar right okay. now. I think it's roughly in the balance, but I slightly prefer Black. Black is actually temporarily a pawn up, and there are some serious threats in the position. Black's dark squared bishop actually wants to come to the middle of the board to start attacking White's queen. Also, the... Thanks. Andrew, thank you. I messed that up a lot. <laughs> we do all mess up sometimes. Okay. That was not a good game. I should have not blundered my exchange. GG. Damiano is pretty good. I agree. Don't bring up meditation. It pisses the shit out of me. On his That's clock. Mm -hmm. How yeah. hard is it to find the right moves in this situation? Okay, sometimes it can be hard, especially for Magnus, but Maxim Vashnikov has a lot of time. And there we see Magnus, he gets up. He didn't even resign yet, but now we will see the world champion resign. He's in Zugzwang. He has to give way with his king, and he's about to lose. That's why he gives up. Wow. Maxim Vashnikov, what a victory from the Frenchman. A comeback by Maxim Vajedograv. This means they are tied, Magnus and Maxim, in the match with one rapid game to go. And why are you surprised he gave up this quickly? Slightly. It's a losing position, but either way, um, it was, I think it was inevitable. 
that Black would eventually win. So we will go through the final position just to explain why he resigned. But either way, just a bad day at the office in terms of that game yeah. for the world champion. He struggled out of the opening and never got a chance again. Let's take a look at it. What on earth happened? Yeah, I just want to show the final position, actually, because it's what we call mutual Zugzwang. Here, it's white to move, so white loses. But if it was black to move... Well, maybe I had too much coffee. <sighs> I want more. Give me more coffee. That was a nice checkmate. That's normal anxiety. Good. As long as it's normal anxiety, normal... I can't speak English as long as normal anxiety, it ain't bad. Let me see if I have more coffee. I'll finish another one. The level, the amount of caffeine I have is probably awesome. Ooh, I have to be certain of the way that I'm gonna start attacking White's King should it go to the left. And it's not obvious actually. It's not entirely clear, I mean, how yeah, you're going to do there. that. I mean, there, yeah. Is he having a little nap? Is he calculating ahead? He might yeah. well just be trying to work out a variation. It's a bit like Beth Harmon staring at the ceiling. Some players prefer to close their eyes and work things out. Wow. But we rarely see that exact sort of uh, motion from Magnus Carlsen. Yeah, especially in online chess. Yeah. Over the board chess, in classical chess, sometimes over a two-hour game, you see the players close their eyes, just picture things differently in their mind. But, um, yeah, Magnus transferring those skills to online. Got my new computer. Whew. All right. Ha! Huh, it was my new computer, which is awesome. Uh, this computer has been having some really strange issues, so yeah, I'm just glad that I got it. I won't do the unboxing right now, but I might do it tomorrow or something. I'll let you guys know. We have some exciting stuff happening. Hey guys, I'm Joseph. I created the algorithm, Gloomshot, that made the video that you're watching right now. I didn't do any of the video editing, compilation, or uploading by hand. I actually wrote some code that does all of it for me while I'm sleeping. This might seem like a pretty complex skill, but it's a lot simpler than you think. I'm completely self-taught and believe that if you can play video games, you can write your own automation code. If you're interested in learning this skill, I've created an online course that will hold your hand through making a bunch of real-world projects, even if you've never coded before. Check it out in the description below.